Hey YouTubers, this is KVUSMC, or Kenny. It's the update of my uh, solar power system here in Virginia. And here's what we got. I have, I have four, excuse me, six Kyoceras. There's four right there. My Davis Vantage View. And yes, I have my my dear old friend there that is my confederate flag the third national confederate flag since um uh, richmond virginia is a con confederacy of the um capital of the confederacy yes i'm a proud sons of confederate veterans you can leave all the comments you want and there's my davis fantasy solar powered And here is my my 10 and 10 watt and 20 watt solar panels. The, I run my stereo and my LED lights and all that kind of good stuff with that. And this is my new addition. I got two more Kyocera. That's a total of six. That's 810 watts total. That's six 135 watt Kyocera. There's my. Winmax HY500 500 watts 24 volt got everything in 24 volt now but we got a good six to eight mile an hour wind day from the south and my panels are, are pointing to the south these are more or less to the southwest but that's how the roof lays but these are directly due south so Again, uh, that's my solar air heaters in the back there. And let me take you through a little update here. Uh, we're doing real good today. And like I say, all wind turbines are good if you got a good area for them and good winds. And like I say, I'm not in the best area for them, in the, you know, and like a lot of people are, but hey, it does a pretty good job I, I've had on my own. Uh, Missouri wind and solar are great. Love them. Um, Air Breeze, I've had uh, Southwest Wind Power, I've owned them. They're good. And um, I've owned a couple others, but I'm not going to mention the names, but uh, they, they just couldn't handle the, the, the winds. But Missouri wind and solar is a good, good system. Uh, wind Max, they're all great. All good. Don't ever knock another man's product down. If they're good, hey, in this in this in this world we're in today, hey, they're all good. They're all good. Any anybody in trying to make renewable energy sources are good. So, and they all got warranties. They're really good. So that's the main thing. Don't knock another man's product down. I'm just here um, to to show you all my updates and what I've done. And so all the comments. Bad comments about this and that and other people don't don't need to hear. If you want to put that on there, just don't leave a comment at all. <laughs> anyway, just going to get that out of the way. All right. But like I said, I, I, I like Missouri Wind. And I like Wind Max. I like them all. They're all good. Okay, let's go here. I'm not in any fights or wars with anybody. But here's how I got it set up. That's two Kyocera, 135 watts. And on the back here, that's how I got it set up. And all right, let's move on. Solar air heater. That's one of them. That's a U.S. solar air heater. Pretty good. Good system. That's my my homemade built one. I love it. And here's my propane my heater. The sun's not shining, but yeah, it's kicking the day off. Wind just going to town. Let's go see what's going on here. Yeah, and anyway, like I say, yeah, this is me. How you doing there? And my dog Cassie. Me and 
Y'all are starting to turn green. There's my garden. Alright, let's go here to the shop. Here's my composter. Uh, here's my hot house. I got my cucumber plants and tomato plants. All that good stuff. No funny stuff growing in here, by the way. Doesn't agree with me. Peppers, got pepper growing in there. All kind of good stuff. Alright, let's go inside the shop. Show you what we're producing. And the solar air heater is running right now at the moment. Got a snap switch in there. And let's see here. It's 111.6. And there she is on a hot air. Now, my here's my intake. Uh, made my, my intake down at the bottom, but to increase efficiency, I brought my air intake up here through a piece of dryer hose, and that way it's always it's getting hot air through the return up here, so it runs longer on the, my snap my, my thermal snap switch I got that I put in here right here and that goes inside there and it shuts it on and off automatically and here's where I got connected alright and this is what we got so far six mile an hour wind five six mile an hour winds and she is doing a great job six and here's what we're putting out for wind speed I mean amps and a six to seven mile an hour winds. It flux it's fluctuating. And this and this is uh ten forty five in the morning. And there we go. You guys are good at good amps. Um let's see again. Anyway, it starts up, it you know, sneaks up on me, <laughs> but it's, it's doing pretty good, it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Right now we're putting out 15.3 amps, 397 watts, at 26 volts, and also this is a new addition on my out back, uh, right here, this is my new trimetric. Uh, 2025A, and right now it tells you it's how many watts you're putting out. PR stands for watts also. 394 watt, 383. It tells you a little bit of everything, amps, everything. But I go right here. 25.9, 26 volts, 14.4 amps. Battery percent, battery percent from full is 97 percent, and I hold this this in. Gives you amp hours, 15.4, decent charge, decent equalize, 10.7, and that's how many watts I'm putting out. Okay, and right now we're, let's see here, ooh, uh, this is my Outback Mate, uh, we're just doing right now, it's pass through zero zero, um, watts, um, AC load zero zero watts, buying, not buying anything, now it's zeroing, AC load is 200, Support 100, and it's doing a good job. So right now we're we're zeroing in. We're, we're when it's zeroing, that means we're getting close to selling. But I got stuff inside running, so it's not going to be doing that right now. And this is my 
out back. Oh yeah. Okay, well let's go to the other side. But well, we're creating some power today. All right, and I, I'll show you where, how, where I got my generator plug at. In case my batteries get too low. Done the shop in Davis Van's view. You gotta, you gotta see it. You gotta see it. And there she is. That's a good weather station, y'all. I'm not kidding you. I got a little solar panel on it. It's facing toward the south. Alright. And this, here is where my, uh, my ACN comes in from the outback, and here's my my 30 amp breaker right here. 30 amp breaker, and here is my 30 amp. Yeah, right now it's my it's going to my panel, and then there's my generator. You flip that switch up; it's a three, three position switch. You flip it up when the power is out, and you go to your generator. All right. Okay. And here's my new system, my other system, my 12 volt system, with my Ames, um, and a modified sine wave inverter. All right, she's on. And my LED lights are on. Whoa. Crank it down a little bit. But anyway, that's it. But it's running all my all my solar 12 volt system. It's running my uh, my Bose outdoor speakers. Now we're rocking. Solar power all the way. Oh yeah, I love it, y'all. And I'll tell you what these are. These are Bose Marine speakers. And they are the bomb. Okay. And here's where my generator plug is. Right here. And I just plug that in. Come on. And it's got just two mil plugs. And it just does its thing. I got a, a, a little Honda e, EU 2000i. To, uh, when the batteries get low at night or when the power's out. Okay, y'all. Well, thank you for watching, YouTubers. And all my solar and wind friends. Y'all take care. Alright. God bless you. Bye-bye.